What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. So this video I think is gonna be fairly quick and we're gonna be reviewing this tripod. But first let me share this with you. In this channel I review many different products, typically many of them are budget options because of the size of my channel. I typically don't get, you know, big brand uh, name companies let me test their expensive products, nor I can go ahead and afford keep buying these expensive products to review. Therefore I think I'm the king of budget options. And that's why I'm really excited about this tripod. This is uh, by a company called SDESDDI. And with the coupons that they have on Amazon, this thing is about $55 or so, under 60 bucks. And currently I'm using a Manfrotto 190X. And the, this Manfrotto is my first kind of like professional tripod I've ever used. And I love that thing with the fluid head that it has. But I tell you, I paid a few hundred bucks for that Manfrotto. This thing at this price point, I don't know how, but it's definitely keeping up and competing with that. Before we get too deep into this, if you guys enjoy content like this and you have not subscribed and this is the first time you're stopping by, first of all, welcome to the channel. And if you enjoy content like this, you might wanna hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification so you won't miss my future videos. And if you like this video, please remember to give this video a like. That will be a huge help to the YouTube algorithm so more people hopefully will get to this video. Uh, right off the bat, you get this really, really exciting and high quality, in my opinion, high quality carrying case that comes with this thing. And right off the bat, this is a huge, huge plus for me. Inside this bag, we get the tripod itself, obviously. I'm gonna talk about that. You also get uh, a long shoulder strap in case if you don't want to carry it like this. And then you also get a cell phone holder. And then you also have uh, some tools and an owner's manual. So, uh, another big plus for me is, it's all the small thought that they put into this, right? You get this uh, protective um, pouch that uh, you can use it for many other things if you wanna put some tools in this thing and carry it with you. Um, they're protecting this head that they have at the top. You have to flip the legs open. It comes in the box in a reverse format. And this is your tripod, right? So this thing has several features and benefits that I wanna review one at a time. So first things first, uh, this thing is made out of aluminum. You do have a rubber grip on one of the legs, so if it's cold and you're shooting outside, or if you're using this as a monopod, yes, a monopod, I'll show you that in a minute, then you don't have to worry about holding on to a cold metal surface. By the way, this thing on Amazon has over 1,000 reviews right now, and it has a 4.8 stars rating, and that should tell you something about how good this tripod is, especially for its price. So this thing, when the legs are fully extended, uh, it is about 50 inches. And then when you have this centerpiece all the way extended at the top, it gets to about uh, 74 inches. And then if you try to go ahead, have this narrowed a little bit like this, it can get uh, around 80 inches. All right, so let's talk about the features from ground up. So right off the bat, the way you open, lock and unlock each of uh, the legs and extension, you have these knobs you twist off and then this thing will extend out and then you can tighten it right here. This is one of the things I'm not a big fan of and uh, that is the ones that you have a simple locking mechanism. You don't have to worry about uh, figuring out how tight you have to turn this thing in. If you just clamp and lock it closed, then you know it's in locked in place. Just keep in mind, if you do have a heavy camera, you wanna make sure after you adjust the leg sizes and extensions, you wanna make sure you have these uh, knobs tight um, as much as you can to make sure it is secure in place. Uh, the other thing is each of the legs have, uh, you have the ability to have it at three different angles. So this is the standard angle. And then you have this button you push right here. And then this is the second angle. And then this is the third angle, which is almost flat. Obviously, in that case, you need to have this higher, but just for the purpose of demonstration, 
you can almost have it flat like this on the ground. This is how low it can get. Now, if you want to get your camera lower to the ground, you simply would have to flip this backward. And, and then you can have your camera upside down to try to get it closer to the ground. The downside of it is once you flip the legs over, then you don't have any locking mechanism and you need to make sure you use some sort of level to make sure uh, your camera is gonna be level. Speaking of level, when you are using this in its regular mode, you do have one of these standard uh, level bubbles at the top that you get to check both axes to make sure you have this nicely level. And let's see, what else can I show you? The monopod, you can actually twist this, this leg with this uh, foam grip and this will come out and it would act as a monopod. You have the same uh, uh, tread at the top and you can take this head or any other head you would like and just attach this to this and you have a very nice handy monopod. Again, another huge benefit that my existing uh, tripod doesn't offer. Now keep in mind, because of the fit and finish of this black aluminum, as you slide and open and close these leg extension or this monopod section, uh, it is uh, scraping the paint off a little bit. Um, again, but that's cosmetic and it doesn't impact the functionality of this tripod. At the bottom, you have this hook if you want to add any more weight to it for stability. So that is nice. The feet at the bottom, uh, they are uh, large uh, rubber feet. So um, if you're gonna have it on any kind of hard or soft surface, it should do a nice job and not slide. I have tes tested this on, uh, on asphalt. I've tested this on grass. I've tested this on wood and carpet and it did not slide for me. So, uh, but obviously everyone's situation will be different. Just gonna be very careful when you're trying to use it in different environments. When you're trying to put this side by side, against the Manfrotto. Um, once you extend the, the legs only, uh, this piece um, by itself, the center piece, is gonna be a little bit lower than my Manfrotto 190X. Once you extend this top part, and then this will be way taller than my Manfrotto 190X. And like I said, uh, my measurement was giving me somewhere around uh, 78 inches uh, or so, uh, depending on the angle of the three legs that I had. Let's talk about the head a little bit. So uh, this is a matter of preference a little bit for me, right? So the current head I have is a fluid head. Uh, you can actually lock this axis, right? Uh, so I can only tilt it up and down, or I can just pan it right to left. And this, uh, the entire head has an option to tilt. So if I'm trying to do a pan or um, uh, maybe I'm panning a product or a scene, I have the option to do a really nice pan if I have my camera set up level. But if I'm trying to do a, a vertical pan, I don't have that option because the moment I actually release um, uh, this head, then the camera is sitting on this uh, ball that can freely move. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of these type of heads to begin with, not necessarily this brand, but just these types of head. Uh, maybe because I'm used to the Manfrotto that I'm using right now. Like I said, I can lock and only do vertical or do horizontal pans, uh, but uh, take it for what it's worth. But the good thing is the head can come off and you can attach any other head that you would like. One cool thing I will tell you about this head is it has this opening on the side that uh, once you uh, release and loosen this head, you can lock it like this into a 90 degree um, angle and you can shoot like that. So you do have this option, which is pretty cool. So if you just want to get a perfect vertical shot, um, you have this option and um, I think that makes it very easy so you don't have to take your camera off. If you're looking to get uh, a new tripod and try to upgrade and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, I'm telling you, almost there, there's not a lot of good options at this price point. I have I tried and tested so many different tripods. I will tell you that for its price, I really like this thing. I'm sorry, I don't have an extra unit that I can uh, do a giveaway, but if this video will do well, as uh, just like before I have said, 
uh, I will do a random drawing of comments uh, down below for a $25 Amazon gift card. Uh, but this was it. If you got any questions or comments for me, please uh, drop it down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't had a chance to like this video, please do so. That will be a huge help for me. Blah, blah, blah. That will be a huge help for me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.